So this is a magnificent black oak and you can see how very very well it's doing here and how it and its neighbor I thought I'd come and see if I could get any acorns here from this and uh, well I was here searching I find, lo and behold, our famous dog turd mushroom. And so we know that these acorns have some of the spores of this on it. This will allow these acorns to grow in places where no oaks are now. I had found it a real puzzle as to why they would take in some places and not until I found out what was going on with the sprouted ones. of what's called the dog turd mushroom and that is the dog turd mushroom and you can see that uh, these oak trees are none the worse for its presence in fact there is substantial evidence here that uh, it's probably doing some good I also see some what are these some kind of bola or something focus on that. I don't have the lens, but you can see that the spores on this thing. Bust it off. What the heck? Okay, here we go. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that wonderful? I wish I'd brought a close-up lens for that thing. So this thing, I don't know, some kind of bola. Oh, you notice also that where I had touched it, it immediately changes color. See? Isn't that cool? So... With the rain, maybe that thing will last a couple days and still dump its spores. Here's one that appears to be new and fresh. So the mycelia is a very important part of what grows here. You will also see that this creek is uh, fairly far down there, and that the roots on this tree are certainly holding it into this slope. In fact, the slope is probably being held up by it. Sometimes people try and measure a tree by wrapping their arms around it. That would be a bit dangerous in this case, but I would suspect that uh, this thing's probably 12 